I don't listen to people that I can't learn from. So I don't listen to interviews of artists that don't have no value in what they say. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to music from people that I can't get no game from. Or Are you the smartest one in your team? Definitely not. I might be the dumbest one. <laughs> Name of the brand obviously is the marathon. It just stands for endurance. It stands for staying down. It stands for like not quitting, accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to and riding it out because that's the reality of success or greatness that it come with a roller coaster ride. I think that anybody could apply the marathon concept to what they do. If it's sports, if it's fashion, if it's music, if it's hustling, whatever, you're on a marathon, you know so. You're gonna lay in the bed you make. You're not gonna get away with nothing in terms of the energy, you know what I mean? You might beat the, the camera or the police. They might not catch you for what you're doing, but the energy is always gonna return to you. So when, you, when you're just living in this, in this cycle of being negative all day and just putting out negativity and, and that's the only energy you're putting out, it's gonna return to you in a different form than you put it out in. So I would just say, you know, master your energy. Do your best to master your energy and, your, and what you put out, you know, and, um, unless that's what you want. You know, because you, you're entitled to whatever you want to create, whatever experience you want to create for yourself. But if you're tired of that shit, adjust the energy. You know what I mean? As best you can, adjust, adjust what you wake up thinking and what you say. And then, lastly, what you do. And that's not an easy thing to do because it's, it's such a pressure in, the, in, the, in these areas to just go by the, the way things are. But, you know, it's a lot of examples that you could look up to as young kids in the streets. You could look up to a, you know, a Kendrick Lamar. Not the words, forget what he's saying, just where he came from. I seen him, you could, you could YouTube him freestyling the Nickerson Garden Projects. You could look up to a Nip Hustle. You know, you could look up to a YG, you know what I mean? To a, a top dog, you know what I mean? To, to a, any one of these guys that came from this, this, this hopelessness. And, and, you know, wiggle their way through it. You know what I mean? And you can reverse engineer what they did. You know, look at the steps, what, what, what happened. The most important thing, number one, is you gotta get rid of doubt. If you got doubt in what you're doing, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? And the way to do that is you have a plan. Because if you got a plan, it's not like just a pipe dream. You have a step-by-step -step list of things to do to get to your goal. If you don't have that, it's very hard to really have faith in what you're doing. Because as soon as something pop up, it's gonna look like the end all. But if you got a game plan of everything you need to do, you know, one thing pop up, well, I still got to do this, 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 and that, so this thing will stop me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing pop up, well, shit, I accomplished this two things. I since like, my last obstacle, I only got three more things to do. Let me keep pushing, fuck it. Pretty soon you, you, you attained your goal, and then you create another one. But without a game plan and without a, a strong sense of faith in what you're doing, it's going to be real hard to accomplish anything. And I know, you know, it's a lot of obstacles out here. Family, baby mamas, the legal system, trouble with the law, you know, your homeboys being involved in a, in, in a crab in a bucket syndrome, where, you know what I mean, you making moves and, and starting to make your way out. And people start trying to attach themselves to you and really become weight, you know what I'm saying, extra weight. And sometimes it's like kamikaze, they blow themselves up trying to stop you. So, you know. You just gotta, you gotta have faith in what you're doing and not take no for an answer. You'll get it. It'll be a long run, but you'll get it for sure. Yeah, you can learn from my mistakes, but you might have to make them. You know what I mean? I would just say, if you take the quality from me of, I mean, if you was to take any quality from me, take the quality of persistence and staying down. You know what I mean? And being able to take it on the chin and take a blow. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, that's important. You know, to not stay on the ground if you get knocked down and, you know what I mean, be able to roll with the punch. I've never been one of the people that could be comfortable being careless. Some people, I, I notice the quality that they don't have that, they just don't have the, 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 the I guess, the pressure on themselves. You know, they just have a little bit of a, a, a comfort that I don't have. I don't feel comfortable unless I know I went above and beyond with my preparation. The things that possibly could happen, if I ain't take real steps to prevent those things, I'm not comfortable. I can't walk around, you know, charismatic and happy. Nah, I gotta make sure, you know, we setting up some type of wealth, cause we might have, we might have a little bag right now, but we know a lot of people had a bag right now, and they ended up bad. We got a core business, which is for me music, but then it's about building an enterprise around it. And I think, you know, that's what we see Jay Z has done. That's what we see um, Puff has done. The music don't become how you pay the bills, it, it's a lot of pressure off of it. You got other things 
bringing in income, you can make music solely as an artist. Real, everybody got a different definition of what they in the game for. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get my way in trying to fit in. What I'm, in, what I'm here to try to do, I couldn't do that trying to fit in. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't, what, what my, my goal, you can't get at the what, what I'm trying to do that way. From my understanding of it, mm -hmm. my experience with it, you gotta be authentic and you gotta, you gotta define your shit and you gotta make a contribution. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't try to copy ride waves. You gotta, you gotta define your contribution. For sure. I learned when I was younger, like, you can't put your expectation of me on me. I'm mm -hmm. me, you feel me? And that's, you not gonna ever make me feel bad for it. You're not gonna, you know, make me react to how you reacting to me. I don't care, I'm me. And if I, if I, part of who I am, you know, is disrespectful or is, you know, crossing the line of like basic things, I'm gonna check myself. But, mm -hmm. you know, we all are individuals. So for you to think my, my balance or my ratio, I'm to this or to that, and I ain't got enough of this and enough of that, that's all I love. Just keep it to yourself, bro. Don't blend in. You know, stay in your lane. There's no traffic in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Be <laughs> honest and stay in your lane. The marathon is just about seeing long term, seeing a vision, understanding that nothing really worthwhile happens overnight and just sticking to your script long enough to make something real happen. Laying a brick every day instead of trying to build a brick wall. Just lay a brick every day. Eventually, you look up, you're going to have a brick wall. I drop my daughter off every day. I drill her I, every day at school. When I take her to school, you know, I, it, we have a little combo we have before she got the car. And she gets sick of running the script for me, but I pound it in her head. Like, you know, uh, what is integrity? You know, integrity doing the right thing when nobody's looking, all right? You know, are you a leader or a follower? I'm a leader. What's the difference? Think for myself, all right? Do you have confidence? Yes. What's confidence? Believe in myself. That's our script every morning. And regardless, she can't really embrace those ideas right now. When she get older and, and, and do an evaluation of what the message that I wanted her to receive direct, don't forget that. she's not going to forget that that's what my dad thought was really important. It was the integrity, the, the leadership, and, and uh, the confidence. There's no one answer to, to how you change the hood or change the, the, the reality of what goes on. But what you got to think about is when you don't have resources, you're in survival mode. You know, so being in survival mode automatically rules out a lot of things because you don't care about morality because you don't experience morality. You experience, you know, the need to survive. You don't experience, you know, fairness. You don't experience planning for the future. You just experience my ribs touching, you know what I mean? And it's better me than you. And, you know, it's a survival instinct that kick in. So I think once you get out of the survival mode, your, your morals come back closer to, to your daily decision making you start thinking about what's right and what do i believe in but until you get out of survival mode you ain't got time to be worrying about right and wrong you worrying about bottom line you know what i mean by any means necessary so i think that economics is the answer empowering people economically is how you really really impact but i don't know if it's about dropping a bag of money in the hood i think it's about impacting culture in a way that you know the mentality changes. I think like you get people out of survival mode, they start thinking different. I did, you know, when I when I figured out, you know, how to how to get myself out of the situation, my approach to life and people was different. I wasn't so angry, I didn't have my guard up. I wasn't so aggressive, I wasn't so, you know, expecting if you ain't helping me, fuck you. It wasn't that wasn't the mentality no more. And I can't blame nobody. You know what I mean? That's thinking about how they gonna pay their rent or like going through not having food at the house, being young and having to go outside to hustle for, for to feed themselves with school clothes. That's gonna change people. That's gonna make you feel away. And you can't fault them. You just gotta kinda empathize with the with the scenario and understand you put a, a person in, in survival mode, they're gonna survive by any means. You no, know, I was always a hustler. So mm -hmm. when I talk to a young dude, I'm like, bro, my advice to you is gonna be money advice. <laughs> bro, get you some money, you're gonna feel different. All that other advice I could have gave you, this is the short version. You know, get you a couple dollars, man, you're gonna feel different. You know, I be juggling. You know what I'm saying? I juggle a lot. I play a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, my mentality when I when I do start to be like, damn, this is a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, this that's what it's supposed to feel like. If if you are going toward what the vision look like, then that's like greatness. That's, you know, 
on multiple levels. Mm-hmm. That's the vision that I'm working toward. So I'm like, I just think about that. Like, this shit ain't supposed to feel, you know, comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. And you got to, you know, wrap your mind around that and accept it and embrace it. And you catch the wisdom off of that. You know? Words is powerful, you know? And I think that um, the ability to articulate, you know, you can, you, can, you can really impact people. I think as human beings, everybody has a natural gift and a natural passion. But then you go outside and you get influenced and you, and you feel pressure from, from what's going on outside. And so, you know, I read one time, like, would you rather be at war with yourself and at peace with the world or at peace with yourself and at war with the world? And that was powerful for me.